Hi and welcome to the beginners course on web GIS and web development. So today I will try to show you how you can easily add the different types of base map and also you can use here the group layer and marker. So here you can see when I click this you can see all of this marker will be added here and uh, when i click on the marker i can get this information so today i will try to show you how you can make a group marker as well as how you can add the group base map when i click to here you can see this is the satellite google satellite this is the google hybrid base map this is the google street map and this is the open street map so today I will try to show you how you can easily get all of this as well as I also provide you this code in my telegram group and whatsapp group so you can easily practice this code and uh, effectively okay so so let's go in my code editor this is my visual code editor here I already created three files this file is index.html then need style.css then index.js so now you can see here i will create a html structure then here i upload here this the module this is the cdn it's come from the leaflet css and also it's come from this the leaflet js so i simply added this link in my code editor in html page so now you can see here i will also create a div and i also gave this id name map okay so then i also added these two file css and javascript i also added these two file in my html code so here you can see here i added this to here the HTML need stl.css here I add this file as well as I also add here the JavaScript file you can see this is the JavaScript index.js so I link with this two file with HTML okay so now you can go to your index.js map here you can see this is the map here I use the Java, uh, JavaScript leaflet JS so here you can see this is the bar then i here I use the map this is the variable name this is the map and then i use i use here the leaflet l then use the dot map function this is the l dot map function then here i defined our deep id name so here you can see our in html page you can see here here i deep id name is map so i simply use this name here the map then i also use here the set view option here i use the latitude and longitude of my interest region of interest then here i use the zoom level okay so then you can see here this is the another variable osm here i use mainly the tile layer you can see l dot tile layer this is the function so here i added this tile layer link i added this tile layer link here then I, then I also added here the attribution okay so then i use this variable name osm and add to this map here is the variable name this map okay so here i use this map so here i use also this variable name map so now i added this osm this layer open street map layer i add to my map so i complete this code only for one layer so then i also same do for another google street you can see i also take the variable name google street then i also used here this google street map link then i also use the sum of this and then uh, finally here i use this variable name google streets and add to my map so similarly i also do for the hybrid and i also do for the landsat satellite images okay and i also added all of this okay so now i will show you you can see when you complete all of this you can only see that uh, this layer type in here but 
now i want to add here the marker so it's very easy so first of all you need to make a variable suppose this variable name is dhaka so i simply make this dhaka and i also use here this function l dot marker then i will put here this coordinate actually it's the latitude and longitude so i put this latitude and longitude in my um, point which i want to make a marker so i simply coordinate and you can see also here the icon so here i use the default icon you here you can see uh, here i use the another variable so here I use this variable my icon then here I use here the leaflet icon and then here I use a, a dictionary object and here I use the icon URL this is the keyword and I also provide this keyword value location.png here I already saved this image location.png so I simply use this name here and then I also use here the icon size and this is the height and weight I also simply put this here and then I use here the icon this is the keyword and this is the key value my icon it comes from this variable my icon okay so then I also use here the bind pop-up function so bind pop-up function means when you click to this uh, marker this will be appear you this text dhaka okay so i simply use it and i also do for all the same case of drongfu rashi konla chatrogram maiman singh and silet and borishal so i also put the same text will be here so now i want to use the layer of group so here you can see here i use the another variable this variable name is cities so here i use the variable name then here i use the layer group then i put all of this variable name here dhaka rongpur rashi khulna chattogram silet borishal and i simply put all of this location in this here so then i also use here the base map so here you can see i already create the different types of base map go uh, open street map google street map google hybrid map and other google satellite map so now i want to make a list of all this base map so here you can see here I use the var base maps then I will use here the curly brackets and define here the keyword OSM this is the keyword and this is the key value OSM it's come from this variable OSM okay so then you can accordingly you can see the all, all of this base map added here Google street Google hybrid Google satellite Google train okay then you can use here the overlay maps so what's the overlay maps so i want to use here this variable name cities and i want to make this name is the division so here i use the overlay maps and use this keyword division and use here the cities is come from these cities okay so now i want to control of this layer group so i want to use here the l dot control dot layers okay this is the function then i use here the base maps it's come from this okay as well i also use here the overlay maps it's come from this and add to my map okay so this is our final procedure when i save this code and open this my browser you can see it will be looks like okay so when i click to you can see it will be running and you can go here you can see all of this base map layer as well as you can see also the marker when you click to division you can see all of this marker will be appeared when you click to one marker you can see this is the marker information about this you can see this is the wrong for you can also see this is the rashi this is the maiman singh this is the dhaka okay so you can also use here the different types of base map uh, now you can see it is the google train when you use here you can see this is the google satellite this is the google hybrid this is the google straight map this is the open state map okay so you can use anything what you want to need and you can also control this layer all of this layer and marker easily okay so don't worry i will send you all of this code in my telegram group as well as i also send you the whatsapp group and skype group so you can easily get download this uh, code and practice okay so if you have any question regarding this, this session you can contact with me as well as if you want to learn the basic google Earth engine course from me you can contact with me this email this email i will provide you in the description of the box you can easily contact with me okay thanks for watching this video